Today's review is going to be an exciting one. This is an Ishimori Woodstone tenor saxophone. All right, so I've had this horn for about a year and a half. I feel like it's finally time for me to review it. I feel like I can give you guys and gals out there an accurate picture of what it's like to own one of these horns. So the first thing I'd like to talk about, which is really important to me, is this is the closest modern horn that I've ever come across to a vintage Selmer style instrument. So Mark VI, super balanced action, balanced action. I came from a Mark VI, a 130 series Mark VI. I've played a ton of Mark VI's from all different vintages and balanced actions. And this horn is definitely designed to harken back to those instruments, and they've done an extremely good job with that. Everything from the key work to the response, it's all there. It makes me feel like I'm playing one of those vintage instruments, but the coolest part about it is it takes away all of those issues. Now we all know that those horns are some of the best horns ever made throughout the history of the saxophone, but we all also know that they had a lot of issues, right? Intonation being the biggest one. I feel like Ishimori has really improved upon that. They've evened out the scale of the instrument without taking away from that sweetness of the sound or that response that we all know and love. Another thing that I absolutely love about this horn is the small details that come with this instrument. It just goes to show me that Ishimori actually cares about these instruments and wants each one to live up to the quality standards that they've set for the company. So here are some small details that I'm talking about. First one would be a gold-plated thumb hook. I think that is such a cool little touch. It's not a cheap plastic thumb hook. It is gold plated metal thumb hook. Some might say that's a small deal. I love it. I really appreciate it. On the other hand, another small little touch, they actually use an ebonite thumb rest for the left hand, again, as opposed to cheap plastic. Small touch, but really tells me something about the company. Another small touch that I really appreciate, solid silver neck and lyre screws. Now one more thing that's kind of a big deal for me is the engraving on this horn is absolutely gorgeous. It's a work of art and it carries from the bell all the way down onto the bow and it is just gorgeous. Definitely brings me back to those super balanced action, balanced action days where it was really a work of art and it pushed it from machine into work of art. I could sit and look at this engraving all day, and it's just cool, something that I stare at all day, every day, has this nice, beautiful touch to it, beautiful engraving. So all these small little touches, they add up to something that I'm just excited to take out of the case each and every day. Just a smile plastered on my face when I open the case and see this horn sitting in there. <laughs> Okay, final thing that I wanted to talk about, but maybe the most important for working saxophonists out there is the reliability. So again, after owning it for about a year and a half, uh, probably played anywhere from 200 to 250 dates on it. I've taken it on airplanes, uh, in tour vans. I take it to teaching with me every day. Basically the saxophone is just attached to me uh, at all points in my life. I can say that the reliability on this horn is excellent and I can tell you that with full confidence. The saxophone has not let me down in any situation that I've been in. Everything from the pads to the build quality, I'm confident that this instrument is going to do what I need it to do when I need it to do it. Now of course I do take care of my saxophone so keep that in mind. No instrument regardless of its quality is going to hold up if you just don't care about 
the horn and throw it around and leave it in your car and don't swab it out and all of that stuff. So you gotta take care of it, but I am confident that if you do take care of it, it's gonna take care of you back. And this kind of goes along with those small details. I expect nothing less from them. A really quality instrument that is well built and is not gonna let you down when you need it the most. All right, people, that's about it. Before we go, let's just talk about price and availability. So availability has been an issue. These aren't widely available, but I know that Boston Sack Shop, where I got this horn, has them. Shout out to Jack at Boston Sack Shop. I also know that Woodsy's Music in Ohio seems to have these pretty regularly in stock. If anybody knows of any other place that you can get these in the States, please list it in the comments below. Let us know where you can get these horns they seem to be becoming a little bit more available, which is awesome. These in the past have been really hard to find. Price range is pretty comparable to other horns in this class, other professional modern saxophones, uh, P. Moriat, Yamaha, Eastman. Selmer is so expensive. These are way cheaper than modern Selmers, but just about everything is cheaper than modern Selmers for some reason. So you've seen the saxophone, we've talked about the saxophone, you've heard it. If you have any other questions about the instrument, definitely leave them in the comments below. I do read all those and I'd be happy to answer any of your further questions about this instrument. Thank you so much for watching. I hope this was an informative review. Remember to like this video, subscribe to our channel, turn on notifications so that you do not miss a video. I'd also like to ask all of you, what would you like to see reviewed? Leave that in the comments below as well. I'll reach out to those companies and we will do some reviews of equipment that you wanna know more about. So thanks again for watching and most of all, make sure you have a great day. We'll talk to you soon. Bye everybody.